Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Khadija Adishola and in my channel I talk about midwifery, free midwives, women and midwifery free reasons. So if this is your first time in my channel, kindly like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. If you are my returning subscribers, thank you, I really appreciate you and thank you for watching my videos. So today I will be talking about abdominal palpation. Abdominal palpation is one of the skills in midwifery and as a midwife you should be able to um, palpate the abdomen and give a, a, a near accurate readings and also escalate your findings as soon as, as soon as possible and you escalate to the right uh, um, colleague like your senior college or obstetricians or you know the right multidisciplinary team should be involved in the care of the woman especially um for instance if you having and if you're not sure of whatever you're you, you are palpating or you are getting you should be able to refer the woman to the sonographer to confirm that to run an ultrasound scan to confirm for instance if it's a presentation to confirm the presentation if it's the fetal heart trait to confirm the fetal heart trait or that's the fetal well-being or something so you should be able to know when to ask for help and when to escalate based on whatever you are getting on the abdominal palpation so now let's start abdominal palpation is usually done uh, uh, as a routine on the every two weekly or at least every two weeks and uh, every two or four weeks depending on the risk factors so and it is usually performed from 26 weeks and uh, it is uh, according to some research said that abdominal palpation should not be performed as routine examination that it should be performed uh, from a set that the pregnancy is 36 weeks and at that time it is used to come to plan the appropriate mode of delivery however in some it is widely accepted that abdominal palpation should be performed from 26 weeks to for any identification of uh, small for gestational age or uh, fetus and uh, fetus has to be solved interventional growth restriction especially uh baby of mom weight preeclampsia uh pregnancy induced hypertension or uh, gestational diabetes or any other um risk factors so today i'll be performing an abdominal palpation on mrs hay so i'll the first thing i'll need to do is to confirm uh who mrs a to it is and uh so I'm going to look for Mrs. A now and I can I say Mrs. A say, say uh, hi my name is Khadija and uh, I'm one of the midwives that is going to be attending to you today how are you feeling can I confirm your name and your date of birth please okay so my name is Mrs. A and my date of birth is 1st of 1st 1996 so I check my book okay 1st of 1st 1996 can I confirm that with a wristband check the wristband as well I can see 1st of 1st 1996 Mrs. A and uh, hospital number is one two three four i can say it's confirmed with what i have here and i'm happy i'm with the right patient so i'm going to be performing an abdominal palpation on you today so but before then i would, I would like you to empty your bladder as a full bladder will obstruct my can obstruct my finding and also make the procedure more discomforting for you is that okay okay you just empty your bladder that's fine so i'll also go get my instruments and provide privacy and during this procedure i'll be exposing you uh, your abdomen and don't worry i'm not going to unduly expose you so i'm going to get getting my instrument now so what you need in abdominal palpation is basically the fetoscope uh the sonicate or pina fetoscope so I'm, I'm going to be using the penis fetoscope basically here. So the Sony case as well, it's like an, an electronic form of the, uh, uh, it's, an, it's like an electronic form of listening to the fetal artery. So that actually pick the artery and it give you this um, boom, boom, like locked up stuff sound that you get to can to know the fetal artery. And at times it actually can and give you the figures but it is advisable that you also can't as well 
done based on whatever the system sell the the sony case sell and it, it as times is also it also picks the maternal cost so it is essential that you first pick up the fitter at the fitter at with the pinner before putting the sewing kit to use it up to cancel the fetal heart rate. Then also you need a tape room. Then um, depending, you can go with a piece of paper and a pen so as to write your findings so you will not forget before actually documenting on the patient's folder. So I'm back, uh, Mrs. Hey, are you still happy for me to proceed with the procedure? Okay, so that's fine. I've been consulted. I provide privacy. So I provide privacy. Then, um, of course, perform hand hygiene according to WHO guidelines. So, Mrs. Hey, I'll be positioning you in a submissive recumbent position. Is that fine by you? Okay, so I'm raising the edge of the bed to, for like um, to 15 degrees centigrade. 15 degrees. <laughs> the same degree. So, 15 degrees. So, I've raised the bed. So, now I'm going to expose your abdomen. Trying to expose my flat abdomen. <laughs> I'm going to expose your fibro abdomen and of course have provided privacy. So I'm exposing the abdomen now. So after the exposing the ahead, then another thing is PPE. So depending, PPE is not like wearing gloves and apron is not an absolute indication in abdominal palpation as you are not going to be having direct contact with the woman bodily fluid. However, if depending on the situations if you assess and you say that it is like uh, for instance that there is risks of transmission of infection from you to the woman or from the woman to you so it is expected that you perform you wear your gloves and apron so i'm not wearing glove and apron so I'm, as my patient is not infectious and there's no risk of any infection so i'm warming my hand before palpating the abdomen so as far as i look at the abdomen inspect the abdomen for if uh if there's any presence of what am i looking i'm looking for if there's any presence of scar in the abdomen if there is any linear nigra style gravidarium or something linear nigra is common or and it's expected in all pregnancy it's a, it's a radical changes in pregnancy it's like this straight line that you see on the abdomen so you should see that the every other thing depending if she has had previous cesarean section you might see scar if she has had previous appendectomy you might see scar if she has had previous aneurophy like umbilical aneurophy or something you might see scar so you check see scar or something is actually personal and it's individualized so you need to check and see if you see any of those things there so after inspection, the next is to do, for me, I do the fonder height first after the inspection, but some people do the fonder height last, but I do the fonder height first. So I check the fonder height now using the non stretch tape room, uh, facing the centimeter aspect downward, locate the height of fonders with my uh, non domain, the other aspect of my non dominal hand, and I put the tape room here now, then I roll it down. To the symphysis pubis then after that you can confirm her at the symphysis pubis you can also ask the woman to confirm from you so mrs hey am i at your symphysis pubis okay she said yes so i check the measurements i write it down so the next thing for me now is to do the fonda palpation so i use my non-dominant hand to locate the fonda height as well again then i use the other aspect of my dominant hand to check the other the second aspect and also palpate it so what am i doing i'm trying to look for uh to define the part of the baby that's actually lying on the fonda aspect so significant so percent of presentation will be like of baby will have their buttocks at the fonda height but occasionally you can have the head as well at the fonda and the fond fondos so if you are not sure of whatever you are seeing there you can wait till you confirm that till you are done with the palpation so for you to actually define whatever you're feeling there then but you make sure you palpate what is there you check if it is soft the characteristic is it soft is it hard is it moving or is it not moving so most of the time the butter stays on the fondos and uh it's usually soft and most of it is not easily movable so the next thing you check now is the lateral 
palpation. So it can ask the woman where the shape normally feel the fit up the baby kick most as the limbs are most likely going to be there. So if she says she feels the baby move most on the left side, you put your non-dominant hand on the left side to stabilize the left side, then you use the dominant hand to palpate the right side. So what you should feel at the right side if it's the fetal back should be like conformed, like should look off in such a way that and it should be smooth. As well so that way you confirm that it's the fetal back the fetal limb should look rough where the limbs are should look rough and more easily defined the next thing to do now is to do the um pelvic palpation so the pelvic palpation here is better to fall to face the lower aspects of the more then now you put your palm your your fingers together to form the palm then you locate the the, at the pelvis now trying to locate what part of the baby is there you know you form your hand like this to check so if it is hard of course that's the fetal head then if you confirm now that it's the fetal health the next thing to do is to check for the engagement engagement is what part of how many percentage of the fetal part are actually enter the pelvic cavity so you check now if your five fingers cover the fetal head, that means none of, none of the fetal head has entered into the pelvic cavity. So if four parts of your fingers cover the fetal head, it means one percentage, one, one aspect or one part of the fetal head has actually entered into the pelvic cavity. So you, you for in that aspect, you have four feet part per people, which is four over five as your engagement. So depending on whatever you feel, if you feel just two, there's two feet per pebble, two over five. Then, now, after that, the next thing to do is to check for the fetal heart. So now, for you to palpate the fetal heart, you have to also check the maternal pulse as well. So I time to check the maternal pulse for complete one minute to know the break before you now check the fetal heart. So now, you locate the fetal heart based on your findings from your palpation, Put the sonic case on the fetal on um, on like the pack of the fetal just like a little bit below the shoulder so you put the sonic case now you ensure that none of your hand is on the sonic case you use your hair to stabilize the sonic case on the mother's abdomen you press enough for you to be able to hear the fetal heart rate but not much to discomfort the mom. So after that, you listen to the fetal heart rate, you count the maternal pulse alongside with it. If you are using the sonic case as well, you press, you locate the fetal heart. In sonic case, you've been using nature. So you locate the fetal uh, heart again, then you count for complete home meaning. You can also check, uh, you also palpate the maternal pulse along the line. Now, the next thing is contraction. In exam situation, you should palpate for contraction. In clinical situation, palpating for contraction depends on the gestational head and the presenting complaint of the mom. If she presented that she's having abdominal pain, something you need to definitely palpate for contraction. If none of that, you might not be necessary to palpate for contraction. But in exam situation, always palpate for contraction because your skills to so adequately palpate for contraction will also be assessed in the exam situation so you check for contraction you place your hand on the fundus of the uterus because contractions are uh, it is believed that contraction starts from the fundus so you place your hand on the fundus for complete 10 minutes noting when the contraction starts how long the contraction lasts and how many contractions she's having in 10 minutes so after that you are done with the palpation. Pro, um, cover her whole back to prom, to maintain her dignity. Position her back. Ask if she's happy for you to reposition her to her previous position. If she say yes, release the, the edge of the bed. Remove the screen and uh, document your findings. So while documenting your findings, say that abdominal palpation done with consent on Mrs. A with consent and findings are as follows: the on inspection, let's do that. Light is longitudinal, presentation is cephalic, position is right hospital anterior, fonda height is 30, whatever centimeter, fetal heart rate is 140 beats per minute, 
then you have to see if she's feeling fetal movement. So if she feels fetal movement, you write her there. Mrs. Hey, fetal feels fetal movement and she's happy, happy with the pregnancy. Then you, you write any other thing you've done as well. If you've done, um, if you've done any health education, you write it there as well. Then you document your name, your signature, the date and time of the observation or of the examination. So if you watch to this end and you feel there's one thing I should have added to this video, please kindly comment that and uh, like, share.